So how long do you have to have it to get a gold star? Then we got her fixed up. I got a gold star. Eight years, P8. Oh, you go. We're closer. We're getting closer. And then, you know, there's so many more medication treatments now to try. Cure, Cure PH. Hey, I'll be sure to smile and say, I'm a little SOB. <laughs> I'm an SOB too. That short of breath. Tears already because I just long for my my old life back. And that's real hard because I've been learning that I won't have it back, but I will get better on on Flolin. Gerilyn needs to talk with other patients. I hope that's why she's here because she'll she'll meet with people that have felt that way like a Xerox copy of what she feels right now. I'm so happy to be here. We're happy you're here too. On April 28th, I went to the emergency room. They actually said, well, you know, we think that you just have some extra anxiety and was ready to send me home. And I said, wait a minute, let me show you something. And I got up and walked around the emergency room and my heart rate went to 150 and my oxygen dropped dangerously low. brought you back to the conference this year. I wouldn't miss it. The last one was, was really, I didn't realize there was other people out there like me. So it's good to, to meet my friends again and it's good to be around other PHers. get all these diagnoses and my wife was never getting better. So you're new to pulmonary hypertension? In my Spokane tribe of Indians, we're only a tribe of 2,000 or so and I'm the only one. And I don't know anything about this. I'm learning right now. Just keep your chin up and network with other people. That really helped me the last conference. Gerilyn, there, there's a tremendous amount of hope. There are drugs now, six drugs plus Flowlan. Patients are living longer. Having a positive attitude and knowing as much as you possibly can is absolutely paramount. They will be the first to tell her much more authoritatively than I can that they are doing much better. I was really excited that there were so many people. It's kind of a relief to me because I want to talk to, to everyone and to see so many doctors here also that know about this because where I come from, nobody knows. My doctors and my nurses want me to bring back stuff for them so they can learn also because it's just not diagnosed there. At first, it was, I was back, couldn't really do any physical activity, and uh, Flowland really helped. And once I was off that, I slowly started getting back to normal and doing sports with my friends and stuff. And now I'm running cross country. It's been incredible how he's responded to medications, and that's the biggest thing about this disease. He can do things now that we never dreamed would be possible with his running. It's just been awesome. Drugs does help, but I got up and down. Some days, can't get out of bed. Some days I do feel good, I get up and go. Uh, it's like a roller coaster sometimes. Are you coming? I didn't know you were I hope with this conference I'll learn more. That will change my life. That will bring some improvement. We were driven across the whole country. It took, it took us over 24 hours to drive here. And uh, uh, we think it's definitely worth it. This is your name tag. You're and, a long uh, way from home. I am, yes. It was a bit tiring, but we know why we come. How long have you been uh, diagnosed? 32 years. 32 years? Yes, I am a long term survivor. Wow. Wow. Ready? One, two, three. door monitor, so just try to go to whatever you want. The 
this weekend represents about a year and a half worth of collection that we would be able to do. It's the best opportunity to recruit patients, have them be well informed. They're all willing to participate, very gracious. I would love to make a difference. Go have it done, it doesn't hurt. You know, it's research. Research is what is gonna find a cure. Here we go. Podcasting live from Houston, Texas. We said congratulations. You uh, won a scholarship for the uh, PH Association Comparative. We all have a lot of challenges when dealing with the media. You're sort of outgunned by the pink ribbon people and the yellow ribbon people. You guys in the audience are the best people to tell your own stories. If you tell it from the heart and you tell it just like it is, you're bound to find someone out there that will promote the story. renewed energy and enthusiasm for, for my job as a nurse and taking care of patients and, and the clinical trials that we provide patients and just sort of some hope that things will, will improve for, for our patients on a day-to-day -day basis. David Dresdale actually clinically described pulmonary hypertension first in 1951 and said at that time there's no effective treatment for this disease. But as you know, we've come a long way since 1951. Were it not for the four courageous women that once met around a kitchen table and decided to take action, all that you see here would never have happened. Let's follow their lead and not just hope for a cure for pulmonary hypertension. Let us together do everything we can to find one and find one today. At age four, I was put on COVID. I had to get a central line and had to get used to carrying a backpack around all the time. But it was worth it because how much better I was doing. I started going to a PHA support group. I was the only kid there, but I loved my new friends who were just like me as PH. This could go on for another hour. 